Uh, well, that's us on the way. Bit of a delay, bit of a drama. Um, the ferry lost an engine, so uh, we weren't sure if we were actually going to sail. But uh, thankfully, they've got it fixed, and we are sailing. Well, good morning. Well, that didn't disappoint. Karotri Visitor Centre, really nice, peaceful, quiet night. Hardly any midges. Um, but we're all packed up, ready to rock and roll now. We're going up to Cairn Ryan for the ferry and uh, on to Ireland. See you in a bit. Well, we're on the move. About an hour late, bit of drama. The, the ferry lost the use of one of the engines, so we weren't actually sure if we were going to sail. But thankfully, they got it sorted and uh, we're on the go now. So, uh, yeah, next stop, Belfast. Let's see you there. Welcome to Port Rush. Um, so I look, <laughs> yeah. So I looked on the Port Rush. Ah, that sounds nice, doesn't it? Tiny little fishing village. Smell of lobster pots and all that. Five spaces by the uh, pier. That'll do for me. Blackpool. It's like it's so <laughs> city. It is like Blackpool. Uh, so we're just <laughs> we're on a motorhome there. Actually, it's really good. Um, 50 pence per hour you're supposed to pay, but I'm assured that nobody ever pays and nobody checks. And it's about a dozen pounds on there. Yeah, it's a yeah, good dozen pounds. So, yeah, so we're, we're safe for the night. Now we're just going to walk into town and see if we can find something to eat. But it is heaving, really busy. So, uh, could end up being a Domino's or a fish and chips. We'll see. We're about ready to turn in for the night and this is our park up today this is sand hills motorhome air in port rush 50 pence per hour there's facilities and yeah as you can see fairly busy so i'm just gonna have uh, one more little drink and uh, then we're gonna crash out and uh, giants causeway carica reed and uh, hidden hedges, dark hedges, dark hedges, that's it. So, uh, yeah, good night, and we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, good morning, that's uh, first night in Ireland at Port Rush um, on the motorhome air there. It's uh, it's fine, it's, it's you know, 50p an hour, we can't complain with that. Uh, facilities for topping up fresh water and dumping grey, etc. 
Uh, we're going to make our way over to Giant's Causeway now. It's 8 o'clock in the morning, so it should be nice and quiet there. I'm going to park up and, uh, and go for a walk. I've uh, been looking forward to this one for a while. So today, the idea is Giant's Causeway, Carricka Reed Rope Bridge, uh, which I'm sure I won't get Sarah to go over, uh, and also the Dark Hedges, which uh, I've never seen Game of Thrones, but I know it appeared on there as well. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to that. And then we'll start making our way south down the coast. Um, see where we end up. See you there. Oh, we've got our first little uh, visitor's experience of the trip and we are at the Giant's Causeway. We've, um, if, you, if you're out this way, so the main visitor's centre is about 100 yards down the road and uh, a little bit further up the National Trust own another property here with a little old farm and as you can see there's a few camper vans we're parked up there. Uh, looks like one or two of them might have been here for the night. But if you're a National Trust member, you park for free. And uh, it's about a mile, mile and a half, he said, across the fields to the causeway itself. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to this. The stone that you see in there, the big rock, is affectionately known as Finn's Boot. Uh, Finn was obviously the giant that built the Giant's Causeway. Yeah, right. And that's size 93 and a half. So compared to my size 10s, that's a big chunk of stone. wanting to visit this place for a long time and it doesn't disappoint uh, fantastic rock formations beautiful place to be and well shorts and t-shirt weather as well so uh, yeah ticks all the boxes super Well, this is another one I've wanted to visit for some time. But if you're coming in your motorhome, just be aware. So, uh, just uh, know, 30 yards up the road, there's a, uh, a lay-by up the hill. You can park there, two minute walk back down, it's easy enough. What does that say? Free. Oh, National Trust members free. For parking, probably. Um, so yeah, lay-by up the road park in there or down in the town which is a couple of hundred yards so yeah let's have a look at the rope bridge see if I can get Sarah to go across it yeah. <laughs> can't imagine that <sighs> it's a bit of a trek you know from the car park to uh, 
Well, it's called Sea, um, no, Sheep Island. Sheep Island, the rope bridge. Um, but we're it's about one and a half kilometres. We're nearly there. Just had a bit of drama. Just not the uh, spoffle off the GoPro. Uh, and that's a Stephen Fry reference. So if you're not sure what a spoffle is, just read a Stephen Fry book. On the walk across, you've got uh, so there's that's Sheep Island. That's where the rope bridge is, and that's Rathlin. And just over there in the distance, through the clouds, you can see Jura and Islay. You can't pick that up, but just as you come around this head, all you can smell is the birds, bird shit on the uh, on the wall. It's rank. Wow, that's strong. Well, there's the remains of the uh, salmon fisherman's cottage. Uh, that's where they used to stay if they couldn't get back across the bridge. If the weather was too bad they'd stay there. That's a hard life, isn't it? Very hard life. Causeway done and the Carricka Reed Road Bridge. It's just one more place I want to go today in this area before we start heading south down the coast and uh, that's about eight miles inland and that's exactly where we're going now. So yeah, this is the Dark Hedges, this magnificent avenue of uh, beech trees planted by the Stewart family. Uh, they in, in, originally intended to be the avenue down to Grace Hill House, the Georgian mansion at the end. Uh, but it's subsequently been used in several films, in particular Game of Thrones. So yeah, well worth a visit, nice, nice to see. Well, I know it's childish, I know it's been done before, but it has to be done, doesn't it? But all I'm going to say is this is the official start or end of the Wild Atlantic Way and that's where we're heading now. Well, what I find this place turned out to be. Uh, beautiful scenery, people out on the water, there's quite a few people, a few people camping down there. We've got the, uh, well, where are we? Oh, there we go, yep. Got the Kadak on the go. Bit of uh, chicken stir fry tonight. And, and we've actually got the stir fry veg as well, so full marks to Sarah. So, uh, gonna have something to eat and then we'll have a little walk up and down the beach take a bit more video and show you what um, Kinago Bay looks like. It's well worth visiting, it's a lovely place. Ten. 
Well, it wouldn't be Ireland if it didn't rain a bit. Uh, just had a little bit of a shower, to totally unexpected, but anyway, still didn't stop us having a wander down the beaches. There's a few people camped out on the beach, which is nice to see. Oh, lots of sandflies jumping around. Yeah, 10 out of 10 for this spot. Great view, nice and secluded from the wind. Yeah, happy days. Really nice spot.